He's one of the most successful movie composers in the history of cinema. And, you know, it's a crucial part of the film because the right score can turn a bad film into a good film, a good film into a great film, and a great film into a masterpiece. And he's been responsible for more than his fair share of masterpieces. Uh, here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Mr Hans Zimmer! Yeah. Well, I can do that, we know each other. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know you we met everyone back. backstage, but you've met Rosie in the past, haven't you? When did you first meet Rosie? We wrecked about eight years ago. I think about eight years ago, yeah. I'm trying to stay young. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> and you met, you met at, some, you were at some sort of event, weren't you? Because I know Hans has shared a photograph with him at this event. It was ostensibly a shoot we were invited to. And I, I was told by our host, make an effort, get dressed. Yes. You know? He likes an outfit. So here we yeah. go. Yeah. So now you know that this is Hans when he turned up for a quiet weekend at a friend's house. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it happens. Yeah, yeah. I think it was the butt of many jokes. Did, you, uh, yeah. did you have the later hosen already or did you buy them specially? <laughs> I actually bought them specially. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, come on. But, but when a friend asks you to go and make an effort, you go and make an effort. You go and right? buy some later hosen. Absolutely. Yeah. We obviously have to talk about your film scores, that's why you're here. Uh, are you guys a fan of his work? Are you, I mean, you would know his work even if you don't know his name from him, but are you a fan, Chris? Oh, I love it, Jonathan. I, um, Hans, I mean, I, it's, it's, it's lovely to meet you, but I've got so much of your stuff on vinyl at home. And I, I, I love it all. I, um... I have a feeling I'm your favourite part of the movie. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. I'm, honestly, I've got... I've got albums for film scores for films I've never even bothered to watch. <laughs> <laughs> but Chris, that's an interesting yeah. area because presumably, obviously, without sight, you know, is it the music that, that excites you more when you're at the cinema? Do you know what? It's like, I, look, I love music, but the thing with film scores is it's, um, it's not just like playing music, it's like playing with music. It's stretching boundaries and, and, and bringing in ambience and, and things that aren't even instruments and creating these soundscapes. And it's, um, it's just, it's not, it's interesting, but it's, it's almost, it, it's also just really immersive. And, and um, so I've got, I've got tons of your stuff. I can't believe you're going to be my new best mate. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, you say that, but wait to see what he wears when he turns up. No, no, no. <laughs> Kelly, we were talking before the show, yeah. <laughs> and I know you're a huge Lion King fan. Yes. Yeah, which of course is one of hands. Lion King, I mean, what a movie, but that piece. We were going to try and do it, weren't we? But I'm no good. Hey, hey, no. No. I better not do that. I probably <laughs> will get cancelled. You your voice, you know what? Though, whenever I hear it, it always sounds to me like it's going, ah, some finger. Oh, did you know? Some finger. Yeah. Okay. Well, see, I know you're a fan and a friend, of course. Yeah. Do you have a favourite Hans Zimmer score, do you think? Um, I was thinking about that. So Lion King for sure, because obviously that was a movie growing up yeah. for me. And now what's so fun as a mum is to revisit that. And my son and I must have listened to it like a hundred times over the last few years, yeah. particularly the, the Scar song with the uh, yeah. hyenas. He loves that one. But I think one of my favourites would be True Romance. Actually. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah, it would Absolutely. be one of my favourites yeah. as well. Yeah. But, but Lion King is, is important because... The truth is, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do Fuzzy Animals, and I don't like Broadway musicals. <laughs> <laughs> but I have, a, I, at the time, a six-year-old daughter, and I can take my little girl to, to a premiere, yeah. as opposed oh, to, sweet. you know, a Tony Scott yeah. True Romance bloodbath. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, <laughs> so that's really why I did it. But, I mean, uh, the, the strange thing about it is, OK, there, so there's, a, there's, like, a serious side to this. My dad died when I was really young, and I'm sitting in front of this cartoon with fuzzy animals, and it's all about the death of a father. And, and so I had to go and unpack all this, you know. And 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 I I really think children children don't get over trauma; they just know how to hide it really well, mm. you know. And so so so. If you actually listen to Lion King, other than the fart jokes and the Hakuna Matata, mm -hmm. it's actually pretty, pretty serious mm. stuff because I sort of wrote a requiem for my dad. It went on Turned out all right. Turned out all right. Fairly <laughs> yeah. um, OK, I've got a list. And the scope of Hans' work is extraordinary. Here's a list of just some of the films uh, that he has composed the scores for. Wayne Man, of course, way back in 1988, mm. The Lion King. Gladiator. Uh, what a piece that was. The Last Samurai, The Da Vinci Code, Pirates of the Caribbean. I know you didn't do all of them, but you did most of them. 
Um, Batman Begins and, of course, The Dark Knight with the joking. <laughs> and that, I mean, The Dark Knight is my favourite, the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. It must be strange, though, because you're giving a big chunk of yourself to a project mm. that you don't have final say over the finished item. I mean, that is still always the director, I guess. It, it, it is. I mean, but then I have, like, like the, the, the way I work with Chris Nolan, we have this weird way of working whereby... Like, he tells me the story, or he... Or you, know, you know the thing about Interstellar, you know, the... the I, I, I'll tell you. So, so I run to Chris and he goes, listen, if, I, if he were to write something, just write me a letter with, with just a metaphorical story. It had nothing to do with the movie and he would never tell me what the movie was about. Would I give him a day and just write whatever came to me you know, so you would reading. compose based yeah. not on the script. No, just not just on, on this. You know, this idea. So this letter arrived, and, and I, there was this beautiful story about what it meant to be a father, and and and, and. so yeah, I, sp I spent a day writing it, uh, writing, and I phoned his house at about ten o'clock at night on Sunday. His wife answered, and I said, um, Emma, and, you know, I've, I've done it. Do you want me to send it over? She goes, Oh, Chris is curiously antsy. He's like pacing up and down. Do you mind if he comes over? So he came over and he sat down on the couch and I said, OK, I'll play it to you. And I played him this fragile little piece that I'd written about my son, really, you know, relationship I have with my son. And I get to the end of it and I'm going, so what do you think? Goes, well, I better make the movie then. I'm going, what is the movie? <laughs> and he started talking about space and yeah. huge and epic and all this. And then finally I'm going, stop, <laughs> you know, stop. Yeah. I've written this tiny, tiny little thing. You know, this really fragile, personal thing. And he goes, yeah, I know where the heart of the movie is now. So that's how we... And that's, and that's how we work through so the whole movie. that's a true collaboration there, aren't Yeah. It? Chris, you play... Um, I you have play... a question. Are Christopher Nolan's letters as confusing as some of his films? You've <laughs> <laughs> um, been a quarter of the way through and go, what, what's going on? <laughs> no, I mean, no, only Tenet. I found Tenet quite confusing. Oh, try it with audio description, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but I love what you did in Inception because it's thing I know it's been talked about a lot now, but it's so incredible because it kind of works on a different level for the audience, doesn't it? Well, it became a sort of a, I don't know, it became a cliche. It became the sort of brrrr sound. Yeah, yeah everyone used to brrrr. Exactly. And then and every, is, that, is that your fault? It's entirely my fault. <laughs> but what is not my fault is that every trailer started to use it. And, I, and I, it kept driving me crazy. Because with us, it's a story point. Yeah. It tells story. With trailers, it's just... They didn't know what to use to, to hide their cuts. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's just a device. Yeah, but it's still a great device. I'd yeah, love okay. to think in the studio as well, Hans, it's just you going... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I... I a microphone. I, actually, no, I just had all these these crazy brass players who are who are yeah. who just have a lot of courage. And I, I put a piano in the middle, put a brick on the pedal, and just said to these brass players, "Just play into the piano the, in a big church." And so the whole. So thing they're blowing their brass instruments yeah. into the piano. Yeah, and the strings are vibrating. Wow! So that's oh, where you get. Brrr. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Not if you had to clean the piano afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of spit in there. Hans is a, an incredible, obviously an enormous talent, but an incredible storyteller as well. And you should do yourself a favour if you haven't seen it already. There's a documentary that the BBC made. It's already gone out, but it's available on iPlay. It's called Hollywood Rebel. Here's a clip. Not bad. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> and also, I just remembered, um, Hans going back on tour. He's going to be back here in the UK. You're doing, I think, one or two nights in London, and you're doing two. Manchester. Two and then nights. going over to Ireland to do Dublin? Absolutely. So when's that, next summer? Yeah, I never, I never know the dates because it terrifies me right. to know the dates. Well, but, I'll tell you, it's Friday, right 16th of oh, June great. in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And uh, just Not much of a it. friend, yeah. are you? I'm coming to see you. I can't wait right, to see okay, you do a full... Because I've seen you perform before, but not a whole concert. Um, who's, your fa who's the greatest composer of, of film scores for you? Ennio Morricone. Mm. You know, I mean, just listen. Yeah. In my style. I mean, you know, I mean, he's done, he's done magnificent movies, he's done crap movies that he elevated yeah. to... I think the crap movies that have his music have the best scores. OK, I'm going to tell you something. When you get a crap movie, it frees you. It lets you write the most wonderful thing. <laughs> because you're the, only, you're the only good thing happening. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay, and you know, obviously we talk about everyone. I mean, Sarah's about to go out 
in front of large audiences, doing it. Chris is doing it as well. What are your audiences like? What do you see when you're looking down from the stage? What sort of crowd do you have? Ah, oh, this could be a career ruiner. Um, <laughs> no, no, I'm always interested because what happens is the first four rows is rich people, right? Mm. The best, the most expensive seats. Most expensive seats. And the fans are always on time, right? I mean, they're, 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 they're all there, but in, in the first four rows, there's always somebody coming in late. You know, it's like, you, you know, you're, you're like eight minutes into your set and somebody's going, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse Elon me, Musk to, yeah, coming yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Niall Ma, Johnny Ma's son, who's my, well, my guitarist in the band, um, and I, we have started this trend of picking on those people. <laughs> the best one was, there's was, was a girl sitting in the front row and she's like, she's texting. And we literally stopped. No, no, just looking. And after a while, the audience is noticing what we're doing. And that, that, so it's totally silent. She's texting away. It, <laughs> she doesn't even realise the music has stopped. Or okay. yeah. And then she looks around and she sees that 12,000 people are looking at her. And, she, and she's dying, basically. Yeah. But, you know, um, <laughs> of course, because it was the expensive ticket, she was one of those people who had the ticket to yeah. off meet the artist afterwards. Oh! oh. 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 Awkward. <laughs> OK, so here's how we're going to play it. And by the way, there is a... Ca in the tradition of Grand for Gold, there is a cash... You're actually paying for a cash price. Ooh. Uh, OK, so what we're going to do is... Han's going to play a little bit of one of his famous compositions. Uh, I want you to listen for five seconds or so, and then when I say buzz in, that's when you can buzz in if you know the answer. Right. Let's hear the first one. <laughs> Buzzing. It's really nice. Are we allowed to buzz? Yeah. Nice. Are we allowed to buzz? Nobody gets it? I mean, we're just Chris. enjoying ourselves. Chris is in there. Yeah, I'm going to just go for Gladiator. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's one point to Chris. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. OK, here we, here's the next one. Remember, wait till I say buzzing. I forgot to say buzz in, I was enjoying it too much, but you can buzz Sarah. in. Sarah! I'm going to feel really bad if I've got it wrong. It's so beautiful. Is it Interstellar? It's the other one. No. The other in No, one. don't, 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 don't. Oh, shit. OK, <laughs> fine. All right, sorry. <laughs> OK. <laughs> now you may buzz in whenever. Kelly! Da Vinci Code? No! <laughs> He just said what it is. <laughs> keep going. Hands, keep going, keep going. You're okay. both Kelly Sale, you out. <laughs> Kelly. You're out, Kelly. Rosie. 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 It is Inception. Yeah. <laughs> Rosie. No, I didn't say buzz in yet. <laughs> I was dancing. OK, buzz in. Rosie. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, so Rosie in the lead with two. <laughs> you may buzz in. This is harder. Rosie. Lion King. It is Lion King. <laughs> wow, yeah. Rosie. Rosie, check it out. What a hand. Ladies and gentlemen, Hans Zimmer here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. 25 euros <laughs> or yours. Here you go. Congratulations, Rosie. Come on back over, guys. Come on back over. Come on back over. I hope you enjoyed the evening. I've certainly enjoyed spending time in such splendid company. So will you join me in saying thank you to all my guests, of course. Chris. Kelly, Rosie Star and the Post Manager.